West Ham United and the Tottenham Hotspurs, home to some of the greatest legends in British football. But these days, it's providing opportunities for youth at risk. It's hard to imagine that these well-grounded young men have once been in trouble with the law, been homeless, or have had a difficult past. But they've been brought together by the Street Soccer Academy, a charity changing lives, one goal at a time. Following two teams to find out how sport can empower vulnerable youth and if football can change your life. The reason why I originally came here is because my life ended up taking me to prison at a young age, at the age of 18. Um, I did five months for armed robbery. I got a call from my probation officer um, telling me about this Street Soccer Foundation Spurs Academy thing. And she asked me if I wanted to participate. And when I first heard it on the phone, all I heard was Spurs, Spurs, Spurs. I was like, yeah, I'm coming, I'm happy. Da -da 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 -da. I was fortunate enough to have someone like Lee who came in from the get-go and was so open with his journey, um, the reason why he wanted to be on street soccer. And he was one of the guys that basically helped to kind of calm the room and allow other people to feel like, oh, you know what, if he can express himself and talk about personal stuff, I can do that as well. Um, so he's been a kind of a leader from the get-go. Lee is a former gang member from Tottenham in North London. He says he was pushed into gang life at a young age. There's no one that's going to want to be good around here, I'll be honest. If, if you're a young boy and you're in our generation, it's like you've got to be. It's like you've got to be with the gang. And if you're not, you're a victim. That's what it feels like. How were you a victim? I was a victim as both ways. I was a victim for getting drawn in with the gang and I was a victim for leaving. Tottenham is notorious for having the highest level of youth violence in the borough. Rivalry between estates and not having positive role models are often reasons why young people join gangs. I just never get put in a position to have a good friend or even be a good person. I feel like I'm always drawn in with whoever's around me, whoever I grew up with, whoever's in my area, and sometimes that's the bad people. But leaving the gang isn't as easy as one thinks. To be honest with you, certain individuals didn't want to understand where I'm at now. I'm trying to be all le I'm trying to be a hundred percent, a million percent legal. I don't want to do anything that's wrong. But certain of them just Nah, see what? That's my man, you know? He used to roll with us. Oh, and now he's on this. I, let's go and chat to him. Like, it, it, it can get to that. Like, it's a time where people don't forget about things and people in this area hold grudges. Lee joined the Street Soccer Academy as a way out, but leaving the life he knew came with some challenges. When I came out of prison, it felt so different for me just to be placed back into the environment. I felt like I didn't fit in. I felt like an outcast. Keith Mabbitt started the Street Soccer Academy as a way to help youth like Lee integrate back into society. The young people that are referred to the program and to, to us as a charity, um, they're often referred in a state where they're very low in confidence, very low um, in self-belief, their, their sort of self-esteem, their outlook, their ambitions, their motivation. So we focus on the football angle to kind of be that hook. Football unites them in such a way that suddenly they're not isolated anymore. They've got teammates around them. And so those teammates are all here together because they want to improve their situation. So then if they can all link in together and help each other achieve on their goals, that's where it becomes really, really special environment. So it really does build their confidence quite quickly. But how does the sport of football build confidence? Football provides so many different challenges and opportunities, whether it's technical, tactical, whether it's relationship with your other teammates, with your coaches, with um, other support staff. All those, all those different challenges require you to be confident in yourself so that you can go and learn these skills and then see where you can take them. If you are confident in your willingness to learn, logically, 
you are likely to be more motivated to go and do it because you're confident that you can do it or you're confident in your in your willingness to do it. By building confidence on the pitch and participating in self-development workshops improves other areas in life too. I really found street soccer as, as such a lesson of life because everything that they teach you week to week, as they said, it helps you, but you have to apply it for yourself outside. So self-discipline, resilience, being able to always move forward with whatever your dream is. It's something that I've learned from here and I've taken forward and applied into my own life. For Lee, the Street Soccer Academy has allowed him to find new purpose, but for some players, it even inspires a career in football. Tyler coming through. He's doing um, sports in uni, Basel as well. He wants to go into football. After completing the program, Mo returned as an ambassador to empower and inspire others. I can use street soccer to say that, look, street soccer's helped me and why it's helped me and why, why I've become what I've become because I know I can go, even being a mentor to the guys here, to, to motivate them every day for them to come in and motivate them and them to be happy. It's not unusual for participants to want to become positive role models for others in a similar situation. So now that they're able, they're, they've developed themselves and they're in a position where they can relay these messages and teach others and provide others with that same opportunity that they feel they can be that figure. Whether they think that this person doesn't have that figure in their life or not, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, didn't particularly view it from that perspective, but more so of an understanding of the value that the skills bring and then the desire to, to want to continue that cycle to make sure that other people aren't in the same situation or can kind of get themselves out of the situation that they were once in. Being a mentor and role model for the team doesn't have to stop at football. Anything you learn here, take it for yourself and then anybody else you see that's struggling with certain things, use that and apply it to them and show them. It's fair to say, the skills you learn in football can help vulnerable youth, but can it change your life? Yeah, I could have, I could have re-landed myself back into prison if it wasn't for street soccer. It's the main word, isn't it? Mindset. It changed my mindset. And it changed me because I had opportunities to go and do coaching as well. They've changed my life because the mindset I used to have, I would have never wanted to do anything. I would have never wanted to go for anything. I would have never tried this or tried that. I would have just been a plain crisp, like a like a plain, you see, plain Pringles, the boring ones. That would have been me. Um, we were all going to be the biggest rivals yeah. because they won as well, so we want to bring the trophy home. Tottenham Hotspur, I've been looking at them as uh, you know, the go-to team to try and knock off their perch, so we're coming for you, Millwall, we're coming for you.